Hey fellow collectors, today we're going to be talking about Marvel Legends series Daredevil or versus Hydro Man. So this is part of the VHS series. So here we have Spider-Man, Daredevil versus Hydro Man. On the back are some product shots of the figures themselves. On the side we see the VHS Daredevil Hydro Man Marvel Legends series. So if I bring in my scale, put it down and turn it on, we'll see that these guys are coming in at 11.2 ounces. So let's get them off the scale and out of the box. Okay, now that we got them out of the package, we'll go ahead and first do a height check. So we got Hydro Man coming in at six and three quarters. While Daredevil is coming in at six and a half. So Hydro Man is just a little bit taller. So they do scale with other Marvel Legends figures. Or G.I. Joe figures. So first thing we'll look at is Hydro Man has these feet attachments. See them here. Very nice. So you can just pop them off the stand and put his feet in them. Uh, if your figure so wishes. Try this again. There we go. Angle is everything. So here we go, having him stand on his hydro legs so it makes it look like he's in a swirl now he does come with two hands here comes with this one and this one right man we can see this smiling face here with and he does have a little bit of whitewash for the waves. Nice touch. And he even has his eyebrows painted. So you can actually see that eyebrow. <laughs> so very, very nice, but plain looking. Hydro Man, he does have Von Jeans. There's the details for those, and he has a shirt on. You can see it coming in there. Now, Hydro Man can look up, down, right, and left. And he has this nice bend in the neck here. You can see the hinge coming up to allow for that bend down. Now, as far as his arms go, come out to a nice T-pose, rotate around, bicep swivel, double bend in the elbow, wrist on a hinge peg. He does have a pretty nice back bend, forward bend, side to side on the waist. Can do a pretty good split forward and back double bend in the knee and if you do take this piece off you can see that his ankles are on a hinge here you can see it round instead of a peg which is very nice and he does have thigh rotation there also so let me get this back on so he can stand over here on the corner while I look at Daredevil. Now Daredevil comes with a couple of accessories. The first he comes with is this extra head. Comes with this hand. This fisted hand. 
another outstretched hand, and a, another fisted hand. So he does come with his billy clubs. You'll notice there, they're hollow at the end. So if you had an attachment, you could attach them together. Or if you had a rope, you could attach them that way also. And now, as we make them fall down, I'll put them back on the stand. We see the daredevil is red and black all over. Looks like he's got the shadows going heavily on that. And my daredevil looks to be out of whack here. So I have to straighten him up a little bit, play around with that a little bit later. But it's ab crunch, definitely not looking straight. A little bit better. So anyway, head can look up pretty good. Down, left and right. Arms come out to a nice T pose. And he has this extra bend here. So we can do a pretty good back and forward movement for that shoulder. Bicep swivel, double bend in the elbow. Wrist on a ball jointed, I'm sorry, peg hinge. can do this much back very very nice this much forward now he does have rotation here at the top and none here in the waist does a pretty good split forward and back thigh swivel double bend in the knee boot swivel as well as Toe bend and an ankle on a peg hinge gives them that extra movement. So since I don't have another daredevil, this is my first real daredevil mold. But I can see that this would have been another version because they don't really do the toe bends right now. So I can definitely see that going back to a prior version of this figure. Now his billy club can fit in his holsters here. So very nice. Or you can put them in his hand. Whichever one you want. Okay, falling down again. So these guys just came out. Um, they were shipped from HasbroPulse.com is where I got them from on a pre-order. So remember, as always, like, subscribe, and keep collecting.